All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Europa Universalis IV El Dorado playthrough of our custom nation, the Cotabos Empire, and things are going pretty well for us. We have our lovely empire here with our good old vassals, our uh, colonies down here, plus our recently conquered province of that, uh, oh, which tribe was it we destroyed? The Pontiguera. And yeah, today... I'm wanting to conquer the Tupinamba and also force our religion upon the Tupiniquim. Interesting names. Interesting names. I probably didn't say those right at all. But yes, I want to go to war with both these guys today. Uh, this one, to conquer them, I want the land. And this one, of course, to uh, convert them to Norse. Then we'll conquer them in a later war. And also, I am thinking, perhaps we go to war with Oyo today. I'm thinking that would be good, because for some reason, they insulted us, and we have a Cassus Belli against them. Now, we are allied with them, so we'll have to break our alliance, then go to war for them insulting us. We will easily win the war, considering I've got uh, three stack here and here, so six between those two vassals of mine, and Benin with five. And me with my four, which <laughs> it's a little sad and a little disturbing that they have a slightly larger army than me over in Benin, but that will change soon as well. Because yes, we're going to go to war with Oyo, and I want to force the Norse religion upon them, as well as vassalizing them. And when that happens, we will make Benin a part of the Kotobos Empire. We will absorb them into the greater glory of our country, so let us unpause and start working on all of that. So first, of course, I need to fabricate a claim on them so that we can uh, take their province. Oh, and yay, we got fish at this one? Oh, I was really hoping we'd have gold. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? It's a pretty decent tax-based province here. So that'll still be acceptable, I guess. Uh, bringing in a marriageable woman, okay, 200 population, and 31 manpower there, nice, nice. It's gonna give our colony a huge boost, look at that, that is wonderful. And I know I can't fabricate, can I do anything to, uh, huh. Oh, we could support rebels in their country, that should allow us to have a cast a spell, we'll, we'll experiment with that later. Well, let's, hmm. Hmm, the peasants or the nationalists? We'll go with the peasants and give them just a little bit of money. The bare minimum to add to unrest, because I've never done this before. Apparently, though, if you're supporting rebels, you can help them in a war. You, you can get a Cassus Belli uh, for, uh, to help them, essentially. I don't know how that works, though, because I've honestly never done it. So we're going to try it, though. So that's why I want us to do at the bare minimum cost. And let's see, so could we declare war on them? I just want to check this. Oh, it would help if I had people. Yes, because that does require a diplomat, doesn't it? Okay, so I'll wait until I have my diplomats. Let them have a little bit of unrest. Oh, hello. Truce expired between us and Dagmon. Okay, they're my vassal. <laughs> and yes, there is no viable unrest because, well, we uh, only are adding negative two so should I take this... I'm going to hold off on buying this explorer idea because I don't really care for an explorer yet, so I'll let my diplo points build up a little bit more. But let's uh, let's see. Once we have... Oh, God. How are you doing on the... Oh! Our agent was discovered. Oh, no. What a, what a shame. Hmm. He's been expelled and sent home. Well, that's interesting. I've never had that happen before. Well. Huh. So I guess we're not supporting their rebels anymore. <laughs> yeah, which sadly, if we do Cassus Belli against them and just going in with a no Cassus Belli war, we'll lose two stability. And I just, I do not want to do that. So I was hoping, now I'll wait till this guy finishes with his fabricate claim. Yeah, that is what he's doing, right? Oh, that's, he's improving our relations with Molly. Okay, okay. Wait, didn't I fabricate claims on this place? Yeah, I clicked to fabricate claims. Did it not take? It didn't. 
I thought it was this guy, but no, he's improving relations with Molly. You all saw me. I click. I must have misclicked somewhere or clicked out of the box or something. Oh, that's annoying. Well, well, that's being taken care of. Oh, hold on. Scandal at court. Lose stability or lose money. Ah, I don't want to lose stability. We'll lose the cash. We can afford it. And wow, look at these wars going on right now. Yao, which I, who I originally was kind of worried about. They're in ooh, two wars at the moment. Ha. Huh. So they're going to get trimmed down a bit. Zazo, also at war, which I'm a little worried about that because that might make Songhai much more powerful. Ugh, that is that is actually kind of worrisome. But okay, okay, we need to focus on our Oyo plan. So they're currently... Huh. So we have a cast of spell. You know what? You know what? Let's just break off our relations with them. Uh, oh, God. How do I do this again? Alliance actions. No influence. I also don't have a person to send, so that's why it's not showing up as green. Let's unpause. Oh, God, how do I break an alliance again? Dissolve alliance. Yes, it is in alliance actions. I just do not have a diplomat. <sighs> I really wish this interface was a bit different. I always have trouble finding things. Oh, excellent. We got native assimilation there. We are just getting so many wonderful colony events for this one. That is great. Are we still working on religious unity? I think that's still our mission. Yes, it is, which we, uh, hmm... Oh, God, because, yeah, not only do we have to convert this one, which is almost done, we then have to convert this one here, which we have to finish coring first. Oh, boy, there are so many things to do. Okay, our uh, blah, 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 our statesman, blah, 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 died. Our royal marriage with Bonamon. Okay, okay, that's what that was. Eh, oh, well, oh, well. Oh, it looks like that war. Oh, my God, Songhai got big. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, we're going to go to war with them at some point, aren't we? And Kong is their vassal. And, man, they are allied with Molly and Air. Oh, 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 oh. oh God. Oh, boy. That's going to come back to bite me in the ass at some point. Oh, my God. Another native assimilation. That is wonderful. And we finish our conversion over there. So let's... Start converting. Oh, no. We have to wait until the core creation soon. Soon, though. Soon. All right. So we'll be saving a little bit of money. Uh, Recall our diplomat from Mali. We should probably then go. Oh, no. We can do the stuff with Oyo. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's dissolve our alliance. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So let's pause. Oh, and... uh. Oh, yes, yes, I have to wait. I always forget that. I always wait and forget that I can't just do two things right after one another with diplomacy. I've got to wait a little bit, which honestly seems a bit strange to me. It's just, yeah, but oh, well, what are you going to do? I mean, it's not like the U.S. is you know, only allowed to do something with an ally once. But wait, why do I have... Oh, my God, we still have a royal marriage with them? Oh, God. Um, and wait, where'd our cast of spell I go? Damn it, did it go away? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a conquest cat. Yeah, we lost it. We lost it. I waited too long to do it. Oh, damn it. So that means we have to do something else with them. Uh huh. What to do? What to do? Break royal ties. That probably would be a good idea because if we go to war with them, we will lose stability. So, uh. Huh. Yeah, that might... Oh, God. I think if we do this, we still lose one stability. So let's just do a covert action. And fabricate claim on Oyo. We will... Oh, but I don't want to conquer any of their territory, though. I really don't. Oh, well, we're going to have to. We'll take K2. It'll at least give us an excuse for the war. So there we go. We'll let that... Unfold. So I'll probably... Well, no. Oyo. I think we'll be able to handle them without having that military over here joining us. Unless, of course, they gain a new ally. Which would be bad. They haven't so far, which is good. Colony self-sustaining. Excellent. So that means we move on to our next colony. Oh my. And that... Hmm... 
no, 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 it won't make the colonial nation yet. We have to con- we have to colonize this and also conquer this. So we will have a colonial nation pretty soon, though. So let's move our guy in there. We have our colony heading, our colonist rather heading there, and that is a five tax based province. So that is good. That'll be a very nice one to have. And no other European powers have come over here yet, which is good to know. Good to know. So. How long until our colonist gets there? Still a little bit. 80 days. Oh, boy. I guess he is traveling, you know, across an ocean to get here. But, oh, well. Say la vie. Come on, fabricate. Well, actually, this one will be fabricated first, so I'll just pay attention to... Oh, our truce has expired with Benin. Oh, no. They're also our vassal. <laughs> and Sienna has gone to war with Tuscany. Good to know. Uh, we have gained uh, Cassus Belli, excellent, and Munster has declared war on Brunswick. All right, okay. So, I think this three stack should be just fine for destroying our enemy here. I mean, they're a Tech 1 country, so uh, <laughs> I don't imagine that'll be too much of a difficult thing for them to do. So, let's go to... I don't have a diplomat free. <laughs> Damn it. It's always comes down to that. I really need another diplomat. Huh... Let's see, though. Just ten more days. I'm wondering what I should take for our next ideas as well. I'm kind of thinking maybe religion. Because we might need it to uh, convert all the Sunni over. But let's take this place for now. Declare war. Hold on, pause. Declare war. Move in, my friend. Move in. That should be no problem destroying them whatsoever. But they are also moving. Okay. Oh, God. They've gone there. <laughs> well, now they die. And... Dead? Wait, wait for... There we go. We won. All right. They're heading back home, so we'll crush their army once they get there and then siege out their, uh, their little capital here. Excellent. Instagib. And that's only 1,500. I might send... Well, no, because there's only... T well, no, that, that two stack should be just fine. Taking care of that mission. And yeah, be an easy win there. We'll have another province. Granted, it's another province I'm going to have to convert. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to take me forever to do the religious unity. I may actually give up on that quest, because it's not even that great of a quest. It really isn't. Uh, I mean, what does it give me? Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Ha, <laughs> ha, <laughs> hmm. Now nah, we'll let it sit because it's not like I get any better quests anyways. It keeps telling me to go and attack Molly, which <laughs> no, no, not yet at least, not yet. Ah, uh, we almost have our Cassus Belli against Oyo. How are things with Oyo? They don't have an alliance yet, which is good. Oh God! Oh, our agent was discovered. Oh no! Well, they hate us more now. And they feel threatened, as they should. As they should. <laughs> Alright, this war is going to go perfectly fine for us. I might need to move a few more soldiers down here for this one. I mean, they are Tech 1, but that is 10 soldiers. Which, dear God, how do they have 10 soldiers with just two provinces? Oh boy, oh boy. I don't even have 10 soldiers. <laughs> you know, look at everything I... Actually, I think I do. I think I have like 11. No, I have 10. I actually have 10. Okay, okay, let's do this. They uh, Let's pause before they get an ally. Excellent, they don't have anything, so let's declare our war over here. Take K2. And uh, declare war. We are now simultaneously in two wars, which we have provincial unrest from that. Let's boost our stability. And uh, raise war taxes. That'll be good, since this war is going to take a little bit longer. So... Let's move in straight into, uh, oh yeah. There we go. I probably should destroy them, but my vassal should be able to take care of the enemy army perfectly fine. Which, on that note, all of you, aggressive. Go destroy Oyo. Destroy our enemy. Yeah, Benin will take care of them perfectly fine, and you guys, everyone grab a siege. <laughs> And actually, hmm, 
Yeah, we have a monster. You have claims on that. Oh, oh, we gained a core in a province. Excellent. So we can. Oh, and our siege of Pambu is over, which is wonderful. That means we can uh, finish this war here. So we'll just take uh, that and full annexation. Send demands. And there we are. We have taken this place. Let's start our core. 33 months. Holy crap, that's going to take a while. And, uh, yeah, unpause. We'll leave our army here for the time being and also build... Uh, no, I, don't, I can't build anything right now because, yes, the coring. The coring. And let's see. Actually, let's look at the building stuff. We, we don't really need to pay too much attention to these wars. Any more that need earth ramparts? I should probably for these over here. Castile, blah, blah, blah. Oh, merchant suffering. Oh, no. What do we got here? Lose diplomatic power or absent merchant. Ah, lose the diplo power. And actually, I'm going to build some armories. I think that would be a good idea. Because, yeah, I definitely need to, do need to build more for more manpower increase. That is uh, important. Oh, but money. Yeah, no, never mind. We're going with money. Uh, let's see. We'll build them here, here, and here. We'll just do that for now. Unpause and let the war continue. <laughs> uh, this is going to go quite nicely. And then we absorb Benin. Because I do not need four vassals on my ass. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, bless. They're trying to reform an army. It's not going to go well for you guys. I'm going to have to say. I'm going to be honest here. Alright. So... Yeah, that war's gonna go just fine. Alright, I need to build a Earth Rampart eventually here. I actually probably should have done that before I sent in the missionary over here. But sadly, I forgot. So that is gonna take... Oh god, a couple of years to get that done. Oh boy. And damn you, Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg. There we go, that's the proper word. And, uh, yes. Good job, Dagbon. Uh, oh, we can build things. Yes, I probably should build many, many things. How are their sieges... Oh, they have leaders that have siege. <laughs> That's why. I was about to say, it's like, how did they finish theirs before mine? Alright, our siege of Oyo is over, so let's go destroy them. And then... Looks like Benin's coming to join the fight. Excellent. We'll go down there to do that siege. And we should be good, and that is Oyo conquered. I mean, they've got... <laughs> they have no hope. Excellent. That's exactly how I like it to be. Uh, what are you doing there? Is that, uh... Hmm. Hmm. So Songhai is a Sunni nation, so they are making those animist ones Sunni. Ooh, Civil War and the Golden Horde. All right. How do I know about the Golden Horde? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. But let's see. Let's head back. Ooh, zoomed way too far in there. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> oh, that settling is going slowly but surely. Coring going all right there. We've got a little bit of unrest. Oh, because of intolerance. Yeah, you're animist. What can I say? We're Norse. It's just... We're just too different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll have Oyo here soon. I mean, I might be able to just vacillate. Oh, hello. Establish a penal colony in Pernambuco. Wait, is that? Oh, that's that one. So that would get local more unrest, but local settler increase. Or lose admin power. You know what? It sounds great. Because I've never had unrest in a colony before. Is that even a thing? Now, I guess just once it becomes a city, they'll have three unrest naturally. Which, that's fine. I mean, I've got enough uh, national or good national unrest. That's not really an issue, so we should be okay. Animus zealots seem to be forming. That's never good. 
Hmm. Oh, well. We'll be able to take care of them just fine. Ah, yes. And back to this. So... What will it take to make them a vassal? 47% and force religion 47%. So yeah, we're going to have to go and tell the full 100 to get everything I want out of this. We won't be able to take K2, but I am perfectly okay with that. As I honestly don't care. I'd rather have them as a vassal and then down the road I'll absorb them. But since it was my war goal, that might be... Hmm, I might all get penalized for that. But how? I always forget how, because I I usually take my war goal, but we'll see. We'll see. So, we've almost got our C at 63%? Really? Wow. Okay, and there we go. We have taken everything, so that is 100%. Let's pause. So yeah, it'll be 86% for us to do our thing of uh, Kotobos Vassal and Force Religion. And if I do that, oil will convert to Norse. Oil will become a vassal. It'll cost us 50 Diplo power. Uh, we get 13.8 aggressive expansion. 10 prestige, that's always nice. The piece will give uh, Oyo negative 10 prestige. Oh, uh, you know what? That's actually not that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad at all. I really don't see much of a penalty for not taking K2. Oh, though, what is K2? I didn't even pay attention. What is it? No, it's just a two tax base. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, we'll just take the... Uh, Force them as a vassal. And uh, force religion. I think that'll work out just... Well... I mean... Taking K2 would only be 5%, and it would give me a little bit more land. And to make them a little bit less strong. Oh, what the hell, we'll take K2 in the deal as well. And cash. Never mind, they only have 12 gold that's not worth it. <laughs> Send demands. And you just go straight to K2. Excellent. We have won. They are now Norse and will begin the conversion of their people. Ooh, we have a tech. <gasps> Military tech, yes. And we get a new cavalry unit. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that makes me so happy. Now we have the Stratioti cavalry. And you, K2. Core you, of course. Oh, God. 34 months. Why does coring always take so damn long? All right, you'll have that. Can I, you know, I'm kind of tempted to give them autonomy just to uh, knock down this unrest issue here. So I don't really care much for the province, and we can always lower that later. What the hell? Let's do it. There we go. So that's only 6.5 unrest. So we'll be able to easily deal with any of that. And uh, yeah, now, now, oh, hold on. We need, also need to send a diplomat over here to improve relations. Oh, and we still have that royal marriage with them. That's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that that survived the war. But fair enough. Fair enough. We're improving relations because we do need that. We need them to like us. And you. Hmm. We could annex them. Only 70 Diplo power. Yeah, we're annexing our vassal of Benin. That'll take us a little while to do. But oh well. C'est la vie. There we go, because I do not want to have more than three vassals. And this is perfect. Look at that. That is a great buffer situation between us and all of our potential enemies. Ah, oh, that's glorious. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Okay, we just need to make Oyo happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of our people are going to be mad. Oyo is mad, and Benin is mad. But Benin, Benin won't matter soon. Uh, I'm still amazed at how powerful they technically are with only three provinces, but these three provinces will be mine soon enough. Now, since so ivory, slaves, and coffee. Intriguing, intriguing. So yeah, we'll annex them up. I'll get their soldiers. I don't know how many of them I'll be able to keep with the uh, our force limit, but hey, we have 12 force limit at the moment, so let's just wait for that. Golden Horde declared war on Kazan. Wait, don't you, aren't you in, like, a revolution right now? Eh, oh well. Not my problem. So. Wow, we've got a lot of potential rebel factions. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, maybe I should boost stability some more. <laughs> oh, and reduce war exhaustion. That might be a good plan, too. Yeah, we actually are going to do that. Ah, there we go. That got rid of our peasant revolt issue. 
Uh, so now we just have those enemies there and our animus zealots. Yeah, I should have built the the earth rampart first. I didn't even think about that. And I I am quitting this religious unity mission. Well, oh, Songhai's rivaled us. Oh boy. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should drop this mission. Jolof. Oh my god, we're being rivaled by everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, okay. So our new enemies are Mali, Congo, and Songhai. Fair enough. Fair enough. None of those happen to be... Oh boy, hold on, hold on. I need to go into a map mode here. Da -da -da -da. Which one is it? Coalition! Okay, yeah, so we don't have a coalition against us, but there are some countries who are getting... Uh, kind of thinking about it, including Oyo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Oyo. <laughs> well, and we won't have to worry about them for much longer. Oh no, there are vassals, so yeah, we, we will have to worry about them, but not quite the same. But they are taking care of the religious issues. Lovely, and if any of their religious zealots pop up, we'll help them take them down. That should be perfectly acceptable. Songhai, what's your tech group? Four? Wow, Molly's only two tech? Oh, hold on, what's this? Spare no expense. Yeah, we'll do this. Is Molly... Molly is only two tech group. Are they... what? Oh, they're... oh, they're kind of like a mix of Animist and Sunni. Interesting. But yeah, they're only tech two military. That is intriguing. I thought that they were like Songhai and gonna be up at like four. Hmm. Well, maybe a war with them won't go so bad after all. How's our annexing of uh, Benin going here? About 50%. I don't think it'll actually... Yeah, actually, I'm going to stop the video here, uh, as I think it's a good place to end. We're getting close to a half hour, so in the next episode, we will fully absorb Benin. We will start helping Oyo make sure that they are a good vassal and nicely norsified. And, oh, oh my god, Air. Look at how big Air has gone. Yao is now a one province miner. I thought I was going to have to worry about Yao. Now I have to worry about Air. And actually, I have to worry about Air and Songhai because they are friends with one another. Oh, dear freaking lord. Oh, that's not good at all. I do have a tech advantage against them, but dear god, those are big countries. Oh, but yes... At least if we do lose everything over here, we have the new world that we can uh, back up to. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode today. And of course, that you come back for the next one when uh, we'll go to war with this little tribe here. I meant to do it today, but forgot. So we'll do it next time. Uh, so yeah, come back then. Later.